Ever since his return, Bray Wyatt's new character has been filled with a lot of great theories and speculation. At first, Bray had the fans going through all the Firefly Funhouse episodes, looking for little easter eggs and other hidden things that Bray said was there. And some of the little easter eggs were discovered. An example of this being Huskus the Pig, the name of his pig character. It's a reference to his old persona, Husky Harris. And there's been other little discoveries along the way, such as the fiend's sirens actually being first used for Bray Wyatt several years ago at a payback pay-per-view event. Then we obviously had the entire Sister Abigail Liv Morgan theory that everyone was discussing. Then the other theory that fans came up with that really made a lot of sense was that Bray Wyatt and The Fiend could be played by two separate people, which could always be a possibility. But the WWE has just completely opened the door on a brand new theory, and that of course is The Fiend's weakness. So, yes, believe it or not, The Fiend actually does have a weakness that could easily make another superstar defeat him. And it makes a lot of sense that the WWE is going in this direction. In movies and TV shows, no matter how big and bad the villain is, everyone has a weakness that ultimately leads to their defeat. So it makes sense that the WWE is starting to hint at that idea for The Fiend. So this all comes from Firefly Funhouse character Rambling Rabbit. Now, Rambling Rabbit is probably one of the most intriguing characters out of all the puppets. All the other puppets just seem like brainless zombies that follow everything Bray Wyatt says. But the rabbit seems to be a rebel and goes against Bray Wyatt and the Fiend time and time again. You can basically say that Rambling Rabbit is the babyface out of the entire puppet cast. He'll warn superstars about The Fiend weeks in advance, and will always be supportive of whoever The Fiend is facing. Rambling Rabbit will always refer to himself as the, quote, biggest fan of whoever Bray Wyatt is facing that time. We saw that with Seth Rollins. Rambling Rabbit said he was Seth's biggest fan, and he definitely paid the price for it. Bray put the rabbit in a Hell in a Cell match, which led to him just being ripped to pieces. So Rambling Rabbit's feud with Bray Wyatt definitely goes way back. Well now, Rambling Rabbit reached out to Daniel Bryan in a hurry, claiming that there is a way to easily defeat the Fiend, and that he knows that secret. Rambling Rabbit goes on to say the secret, but gets his mouth covered by Bray Wyatt, with Bray responding, Snitches get stitches. Bray Wyatt then wraps up a beaten down Rambling Rabbit, and hands him over to Daniel Bryan as a gift. So we got the reveal that there is a weakness, but we just didn't get the actual reveal of what it was. Now, will Rambling Rabbit come back to life? That's the question that's on everyone's mind. Rambling Rabbit has been revived multiple times in the past, and this isn't the first time Bray has took him out as well. So we'll have to see if Rambling Rabbit will be revived by Bray, and if he continues to try to expose the Fiend's secret. But what is the Fiend's secret? There are already a few fan theories out there on this big secret. First of all is the actual mask. Some fans wondered if removing that fiend's mask will just put an end to him. But that does seem a bit too anticlimactic. Another theory, which is a little better, is the red light theory. Minus his debut match at SummerSlam 2019, the fiend has always wrestled entire matches with this red light. So fans are wondering, if this red light is blocked or turned off, will this weaken the Fiend and make him just a bit more vulnerable? Fans and even superstars have been complaining about how annoying the red light is from a viewing standpoint, but what if it turns out to be the source of the Fiend's power? That theory makes a little more sense than the unmasking, but it's still going to be pretty hard to pull off. 
but those fans wondering what the secret is probably won't have to wait that long. The highly talked about and rumored date for The Fiend's first loss could reportedly happen at WrestleMania at the hands of Roman Reigns. So, will The Fiend's weakness be on full display for when he falls to Roman Reigns? That's going to be really interesting to find out. Another thing to be concerned about is how will The Fiend be handled once he suffers this first loss and has his secret revealed? Will he still even be a threat after he gets exposed that bad? Especially on the biggest stage of the year? That's the part to be a little fearful of, but hopefully the WWE comes up with a way that doesn't completely ruin The Fiend when he eventually does have to face defeat. Either way, there has to be something, some source of power that is feeding the fiend Bray Wyatt and making him so unbeatable. And if some superstar is able to learn that source of power, we may see a horribly weakened fiend come into play. So this is a really interesting theory that the WWE just opened up the door to. So keep a close eye on Rambling Rabbit and the other Firefly Funhouse members to see if we get any more hints about The Fiend's weakness. What are your thoughts on this situation? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.